I'm going to give you an update on the vegetable gardens around the single white. The previous owner did some landscape around the single white, um, so they had some plants and they also put down um, nice garden soils uh, in there. Um, not very thick, but it, it definitely they have some garden soils. Um, but because of the transition that this area was not taken care of, so when we come in August, and it was uh, uh, overgrown with wheat. So we have been doing weeding and uh, then put some uh, vegetables, um, mainly the sweet potato wine, uh, water spinach wine, and also stuff that I grown from uh, uh, the seeds of like pumpkin and the watermelon and stuff that uh, we've been eating. Uh, so the main purpose is to um, basically have uh, the, er, this area have some vegetable growing so that uh, that will compete against the, the weed. So I will show how it goes after uh, two months. Well, we actually got uh, um, quite a few things going um, and uh, actually I will have my first harvest today. First, then let me show you how I water the plants since I we only come here um, during the weekend. So what I did is have this timer and I set up a dripper irrigation system and have this timer set up to um, water five minutes in the morning and the five minutes in the afternoon. So that seems worked out pretty well, even though we are, uh, didn't have any meaningful rain for the last few weeks and we are um, the temperature is pretty high and we're technically in severe drought, but that seems to work out pretty well with the uh, drip irrigation system. So here are the um, anchoy or water spinach um, that I grown from the, the vine. So basically you can cut this um, off and uh, sil uh, eat the leaves and uh, then put the stem in the in the ground, it will grow leaves and become a new plant. Um, so if you don't have sweet uh, the water spinach, um, you can find it in the Asian store. And then the same thing, that's how every spring I get a water spinach plant, is I go to the Asian store and uh, buy a bag of water spinach and I ate the leaves and then plant, plant the stem and that will plant supply a whole summer, uh, even for uh, leafy vegetable for us. So th that's the... Um, these are the kabucha um, plants. Uh, kabucha basically is a small pumpkin that is about six to eight inches um, in diameter and it tastes like a butter squash, very uh, sweet and uh, starchy. Um, so I grown this from the kapucha uh, I ate, from the seeds of the kapucha I ate and uh, they seem to adapt to here pretty well. Uh, I even got some flowers already. Um, but right now it looks like it's all male flowers, so I'm not sure if we'll get any female flowers or uh, kapucha plants going. Um, depends on, I guess, how soon the first frost uh, comes. Over here is a pea that I planted uh, around beginning of Sept September because I was expecting the temperature to drop um, and the, the pea should do well in cool temperature. But unfortunately, the temperature didn't drop, so they seem to be got uh, chewed up by bugs. They are not growing much, and then the bugs come and uh, chew them up. But some seem to be uh, recovering, uh, so hopefully they will survive. Here 
here I got um, some pumpkins growing and uh, also uh, some sorrel. These are from the fall uh, seeding planting. Um, I planted a bunch of cool weather vegetable in early September, but um, because of the temperature is high, has been very high, and the, the, the most of them didn't survive. So the sorrel actually is the only one that survived. Um, and I got a small patch over here. Uh, this is my first time planting sorrel, and uh, I'm not sure uh, how I, I need to learn how to cook it. Uh, they are uh, perennials, so they're supposed to um, survive through the winter, and and uh, then I shouldn't need to plant them again. Uh, I have a pea over here that is start to climb up the potato um, uh, tomato uh, cages. Um, one thing I notice is that the peas that are growing among other plants seems doing much better than the peas that are growing by planted by itself. Uh, I'm not sure is whether the other plants kind of uh, um, provide a ground cover to keep the soil cool so that the pea can grow better or the bugs just uh, get all confused with uh, the different leaves and all that and then they are not uh, chewing them up. So I don't know the exact cause yet but uh, I'm, I'm glad to see some of the peas actually survived um, the, the hot fall we have. So here are more um, pumpkins. Um, another pea that is kind of hiding among the bushes and trying to grow. Um, so here is the more pumpkin flowers. It's beautiful. Over here we have uh, watermelons. Uh, they I haven't seen any in bloom yet. So, um, but again, I just planted them for um, for ground cover. I'm not really expecting to get any watermelon around this time of year. Over here uh, are the spaghetti beans. Um, I planted. Um, together probably around one month ago. Um, since the temperature, they are heat-loving plants, and since the, since the temperature hasn't dropped much, they actually doing well under the heat. So I actually set up a tripod using the uh, ash juniper uh, stick we have. So I got a few of them. So uh, this trap height, it, then we can uh, allow the beans to climb up uh, to, so that uh, they, they, they can grow taller. And uh, also I have uh, um, peas, or uh, of course I will plant some peas after the beans are done. So th then I have a succession of peas and the beans. So the spaghetti beans um, uh, seems to be doing very well over here. And uh, I got a few flowers and a few pea pots. So that's nice. Here's more. Uh, this one actually is some kind of mysterious squash. Uh, I know it's from um, the squash that I ate, but I don't remember planting them. So uh, either I put a compost over here or uh, I planted and I forgot it. So I got uh, the small flowers already. Um, I haven't seen any male flower, uh, female flowers yet. So uh, hopefully I will get some female uh, flowers so at least I can solve the mystery of what kind of plant this, uh, what kind of squash this is. And over here, are the uh, sweet potato vines. Uh, I put down this sweet potato one the first time I came here in early August because I know that they will, um, they don't mind the soil, they, they will grow anywhere. So that's why that's the first plant I put in. Um, so now I got a huge 
bush of it. Um, I'm actually going to have the first harvest today to um, you know, so that I can cook it as a vegetable, saute it in, for my dinner. So here are more of this uh, mysterious squash. Um, here is a uh, uh, rosemary bushes. Uh, this actually is come from the previous owner. Um, they put it down over here and uh, um, it survived without any attention through the hot Texas summer. So I'm so glad that they survived because I always wanted some uh, rosemary bushes. Uh, they smell so good. I can rub my fingers around and I can feel the oil and it, it smells really good. So over here I have more of the, the uh, spaghetti beans. There uh, seems some ants are uh, crawling around over there, but I'm not sure what they're looking for. But um, So I got quite a few of them and they usually mature very fast, so in uh, probably three, two or three days they will be ready to harvest. Here's another uh, sweet potato uh, plant that I put in. So in two months, they took roots and uh, started growing um, really well. And that's the uh, water spinach that is also ready to harvest. Uh, the nice thing with both sweet potato plant and the water spinach is that you can just harvest by just cutting the tips off and, and then I will uh, separate the leaves from the stem and then I can plant the stem back. For the, um, for the water spinach, you can eat the stem as well as long as they are not too old. Here is a lima bean that I planted uh, in early September, and they didn't do well. They sprouted, but then they kind of stand in there, and the, the bugs come to chew it all up. Um, so I'm glad to see that there are a few leaves come out again, because I, it was like a, just a, a stone that I, I'm afraid it didn't make it, but look like it's trying to recover. Um, so hopefully with the uh, cold weather that's supposed to come on Monday, but that will keep the bugs at bay and uh, then that will give the chance for this uh, cool vegetable to start to grow and, and, uh, um, and thrive in cold weather. I hope you like this content. If you do, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. If you want to follow our journey with the East by West Farms, please hit the subscribe button.